All right, time for another math. Easy solution. Let's discuss further into the laws of exponents and now look at part two of this video series and solve this one right here, which is e to the x minus y equals to e to the x divided by y. Basically, prove this one here. Quickly recap on these three laws. I did this one in my last video and I'll do this one in, in a later video, but I'll go over this one today. Basically, if x and y are real numbers and r is rational, once again, Rational just means if any numbers that could be written as uh, as integers, uh, let's say one divided by three, etc. That is a rational number. The number three or two, etc. Then basically you have these ones: e to the x plus y equals to e to the x times y. If it's a minus, you divide here, and then if you have e to the x to the power of r, you just you could bring that r inside be e to the r x. So basically, I'll go over a proof of uh, number two right here. So yeah, basically the proof for number two, e to the x uh, minus y equals e to the x divided by e to the y. And then the proof of this is similar to one I did for uh, the first one here, which is we start off with writing ln of this part right here, e to the x divided by e to the y. Now we use our log log uh, properties and our rules to basically break this down. You see the video link below on proof of these. Basically, this one we could write it as ln e to the x minus ln e to the y right here. And also then we could use another law which is bringing these exponents down. So we get basically x times ln e minus y ln e. And once again, ln e, these equals to 1. And you could write this as basically, uh, they just cancel, it would be x minus y. And also what you could also even do, just to, just factor these out. So you could also write or just add a ln e at the end. So we can write x minus y times ln e. Because remember this equals to 1, so I'm not really changing anything. So I'll just write it like that. And now what we could do is use the reverse, or basically use this the, the law that we had to bring this down to bring it back up. So we could write this as equaling to ln e times x uh, minus y right here. So now we have basically ln of e to the x divided by e to the y equaling this part right here which is ln of e to the x minus y. Yeah, now another property about ln like I showed my uh, last proof video basically ln is a one to one function and this just means that each y value has exactly one uh, x value. For example, when we look at the ln function it looks something like this right here so every y value if you go here it has only one x value it's not like a trigonomic function that goes up and down you could have multiple x values so what this means then if we have this part right here so we could write because uh, basically ln of e to the x divided by e to the y is equal to now ln of uh, e to the x minus y yeah, because this is true, this just means uh, that these have the exact same y value here, we'll call it y there. So this means it has to follow that it has to have the exact same x value, which is the inside function right here. If they, if they have the exact same x value, that means basically th this and this are the exact same. So we get e to the x divided by e to the y is equal to e to the x minus y. And this is basically proof for our... Uh, law 2 or of the exponents laws. Well, anyways, that is all for today. If you learned from this video and like always you can download these exact notes in the links below and basically uh, even just, just type this in your URL you'll get the PDF and word notes accordingly. Anyways, all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.